In the crucible of the 2003 Iraq War, under the relentless sun of the desert battleground, a new era of warfare was dawning. As the conflict began, the Royal Air Force's 617th Squadron swept in, armed with an unprecedented weapon system. Their aircraft carried an experimental marvel, an air-launched cruise missile of such advanced technology it still lived in the realm of dreams for most. Though this tech was not yet meant to see the light of day, the turbulent times called for desperate measures. Veiled under the guise of an accelerated testing schedule, the RAF opted to unleash their precious Storm Shadow missiles on the battlefields of the Middle East. Undetectable by most conventional methods, these projectiles sliced through the air at near supersonic speeds, streaking across 340 miles. The RAF tornadoes were now armed with technology decades ahead of anything the enemy could possess. Twenty years later, the stealthy projectile continues to redefine the fate of nations across the globe. Experts speculate its potency could tip the scales in Ukraine's favor in its struggle against Russian aggression. Paving the way. As the Cold War spread worldwide, the desperate arms race and search for nuclear deterrence solutions would soon launch Britain into the path of developing air-launched cruise missiles. During the 1960s and 70s, Britain birthed the standoff missile, the WE-177 program, conceived as a nuclear weapons initiative. After the WE-177 program was phased out in the 90s, the UK shifted its focus to submarine-launched ballistic missiles, specifically the Trident, in collaboration with the United States. But the lessons learned and the technological prowess gained from the WE-177 were not forgotten. They would inform the next generation of air-to-surface missiles, including the groundbreaking Storm Shadow Initiative. The UK joined forces with France and Italy to conceive the Storm Shadow missile in the late 1990s. This sophisticated weapon system was born out of the collective genius at French firm Matra, later known as MBDA, and marked a pivotal turn in Britain's cruise missile narrative. The Storm Shadow's design prevailed against multiple submissions from international defense giants, including McDonnell Douglas, Texas Instruments and Short Brothers, Hughes and Smith's Industries, Daimler-Benz Aerospace and Bofors, GEC Marconi, and Raphael. The successful blueprint was built upon Matra's earlier design for the Apache anti-runway cruise missile. The dawn of the new millennium saw the first fully guided firing of the Storm Shadow, launched from a Mirage 2000N at the CEL Biscarros range in France. Shortly thereafter, the first British test occurred from a tornado at BAE Wharton. Over the years, the Storm Shadow was integrated with multiple aircraft, including a successful pairing with the Eurofighter Typhoon in 2013 at Italy's Dicimo Manu Air Base. Maintaining identical capabilities, the Scalp EG and Storm Shadow differ only in their integration with aircraft. In July 2016, the UK's Ministry of Defence invested further in the system, awarding a £28 million contract to support the Storm Shadow over the subsequent five years. Stealth and Lethality Crafted to pierce the defenses of static targets, such as bunkers, facilities, and bridges, it removed the risk of a bomber encountering enemy air defenses. The new technology initially launched from the RAF's Tornado GR-4, but plans were laid for its integration with the Eurofighter Typhoon. Defense Secretary Jeff Hoon noted in 2003, quote, The Storm Shadow brings a significant shift to our strategic options. His optimism was validated as the missile's deployment proved highly successful in combat. One of the Storm Shadow's defining features is its fire-and-forget mechanism. It can be launched from any location up to 155 miles from the intended target, offering a substantial safety buffer for the bomber. Upon release, the Storm Shadow unfolds its wings and assumes a low-altitude, terrain-hugging trajectory to elude radar detection and enemy defenses. The missile's navigation is two-pronged, constantly updating GPS data of its location and digital terrain profile matching to align with what it observes on the ground. As the missile nears its final approach, the nose cone jettisons to reveal a high-resolution infrared camera. The target recognition hardware then cross-references the approaching ground visuals with the stored image of the target. The missile continually adjusts its course and attack angle, delivering a surgical strike to minimize collateral damage and unintended casualties. 
the warhead of the Storm Shadow missile follows a two-stage detonation. An initial penetration charge pierces the target, allowing the following larger charge to infiltrate and detonate. This dual-action strategy amplifies the missile's destructive potential, ensuring maximum damage with every hit. In essence, the French-made Scalp EG cruise missile is the identical twin to Storm Shadow. Both evolved from the earlier French Apache anti-runway missile, underscoring the shared lineage and technological prowess across nations. Combat Use Storm Shadow's operational debut came amid the turmoil of the 2003 Iraq invasion. The missile was hurriedly put through an accelerated testing schedule and entrusted to the RAF 617th Squadron. The Storm Shadow's power became even more evident during the 2011 Libyan military intervention. French Air Force Rafales, Italian Air Force, and Royal Air Force tornadoes unleashed the Storm Shadow's wrath on pro Gaddafi targets. Critical enemy locations, such as the Al Jufra Air Base and a military bunker in Sirta, the hometown of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi, were laid bare under the missile's precision. Italy's debut use of the Storm Shadow in live combat reached a staggering 97% success rate, reinforcing the missile's reputation. On June 26, 2016, the RAF deployed four Storm Shadow missiles targeting an ISIS bunker in Iraq. Launched from two Tornado aircraft, the missiles scored direct hits, penetrating deep into the bunker. In April 2018, the UK government announced the use of Storm Shadow missiles launched by Panavia Tornado GR-4s to strike a chemical weapons facility in Syria. The Him Shinshar Chemical Weapons Storage Complex near Homs caved under the barrage of nine U.S. Tomahawks, eight British Storm Shadows, and French MDCN and Scalp cruise missiles. March 11, 2021, marked a new chapter in the Storm Shadows' history, as two Royal Air Force Typhoon FGR-4 jets launched the missile against a cave complex southwest of Erbil City in northern Iraq. A substantial number of ISIS fighters were reported at the location, marking the Typhoon's first combat use of the Storm Shadow. Into Ukraine. On May 11, 2023, the United Kingdom revealed that it was supplying the Ukrainian military with Storm Shadow missiles amid the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In reference to Russia's use of longer-range munitions, such as the AS-24 Killjoy hypersonic missile, 3M-54 Kalibir cruise missile, and Shahed-136 one-way attack drone, UK Defense Minister Ben Wallace framed the delivery as, quote, a calibrated, proportionate response to Russia's escalation. The acquisition represents an enhancement for the Ukrainian military, enabling the capability to target command and control nodes and logistics points in occupied Crimea over extended ranges, hampering Russia's ability to sustain the front line. Similarly, France declared it would supply Ukraine with Scalp EG, its version of the missile. The UK confirmed on May 18th that Ukraine had already successfully used the Storm Shadow. Claims emerged from Russia that Ukraine had utilized Storm Shadow missiles to strike industrial sites in Luhansk on May 13th, 2023, nearly two days after their delivery announcement. According to a report by Russian media, these cruise missiles were launched from specially modified Su-24 strike aircraft and were accompanied by MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters equipped with AGM-88 harms. Ukrainian command reportedly uses UAVs and ADM-160 MAL decoys to distract Russian air defenses and secure the aircraft and ordnance from interception. Ukrainian Minister of Defense Alexei Resnikov confirmed the Su-24 as the Storm Shadow launch platform for the Ukrainian Air Force, with a photo of an Su-24 MR armed with a missile on each underwing pylon. He claimed that the missiles had hit 100% of their targets by the end of May, a statistic contested by Russia's defense ministry, which asserted some had been intercepted. A notable operation involving the Storm Shadow took place on June 12th, resulting in the demise of Major General Sergei Goryachev, the Chief of Staff of the 35th Combined Arms Army in Zaporizhia Oblast. On June 22nd, the Chungar Bridge, linking Crimea with Kherson Oblast, was targeted by a Storm Shadow missile to disrupt Russian logistics. Whether in the theaters of Iraq, Libya, or more recently, Ukraine, the Storm Shadow's prowess, alongside its French counterpart, Scalp EG, underscores its enduring significance as a formidable weapon in the global arms arsenal.
Thank you for watching Dark Tech. For more content about the most impressive weapon systems that have helped pave the world of modern warfare, subscribe and hit that notification bell. For more thrilling war stories, check out our other Dark Documentaries channels.